Hi, this is Jared from Shunome, and uh, today I'm going to do a super quick video on how I do foundations and stepped footings in ARCHICAD. Uh, I had a question just now on a blog post about how to do this, and I started to post an image, and then I thought, why don't I just record a two-minute video? So, here we go. So here's a house uh, just finished up with a friend of mine, Carrie, over at Westerbeck Architecture, and um, this is a perfect example of how to do uh, stepped footings. So here's the house. It's pretty cool. Should start construction pretty soon. Um, but let's switch to look at the foundation. So made a quick um, layer setting or layer combination that just shows my uh, footing layer and my foundation layer. And what I have found works best is to do the foundation with typical walls. You know, nothing too earth-shattering there. Um, and then I break the wall where the steps are. It's pretty easy to do. Um, you can also, you know, if you need a new step, say, let's just move that wall over four feet, bring that back, uh, let's bring it back properly, um, intersect those up the wrong way, trim it instead. Um, so you can see, you can you can break walls pretty easily, and then you can just go and say that is actually uh, only a three foot four wall. So if you notice what I'm doing there is I'm trying to make it very easy for myself. So now I have, if we measure this down at the bottom of my screen, you can see it's a four foot long wall. Um, trying to very easily uh, break elements and, and add the steps. But anyways, that's how... I deal with the walls themselves, so you just break them at the steps. It's not super ideal, but it's very easy to manage. Um, for certain conditions where you have a, a big vertical step, like uh, at the top of the wall, um, sometimes I will do stacked walls, and sometimes I will do broken walls. It really depends on the interior condition. Here, uh, the stacked walls made sense because we had insulation above, um, but not below there. You can see the insulation goes there. Uh, but in a, oh, sorry, in a condition up here where the insulation is continuous to top to bottom of the foundation wall, I will uh, break the wall and do uh, two walls side by side. So that's foundation walls. It's nothing huge. Um, for footings, I, I use beams. So here's uh, you know, just beams everywhere. And you'll notice for the um, vertical pieces, I don't use columns. I'll still use beams because, again, if we go off that same concept of, say, we're going to add a step, so let's move it four feet. Let's now elevate it down one foot. So now we have our, uh, um, actually, let's, let's elevate it down another foot. We, we now have our step. Right, we can bring that wall back, and now to make up the difference between those, you could use a column, which is what seems like what makes sense. It's a vertical element, but if you use another um, beam, you can work with all the same elements. So again, I just copy that beam, I'm going to drag this over, and now I'm going to drag it down. And so now we've created the vertical step. Likewise, if that were um, an angle, like a slope, that's the, this is the other nice thing about the beams. Um, if this were not a stepped footing, but a sloped footing, we would just slope it. Uh, we'll have to do something there to make sure that's not wonky, but that's probably a case of um, just having that, that beam there. So if we intersected that properly, we can, we can probably get it to work. Uh, but again, you know, if I were really doing this in my project, I wouldn't copy that beam or cut that beam. I would just copy this step and uh, you know, drag it over. And again, if you notice, the step is kind of filling in below the one above. It's this is again just kind of modeling efficiencies. Um, I think that's really all I wanted to cover in this video. So I'm going to wrap it up. Uh, well, let's do one other thing since I have you here. 
Let's turn on the slab layer. As you can see, I've added the, the slabs here. Um, if we hide the slab layer real quick, we can see uh, the slab will cut the, uh, the wall so we can get um, stem wall at the edge of our foundation walls. It looks beautiful in section. I might show that real quick. And then the last bit is uh, we have this rat slab, this really thin stepping slab, and so I used a shell. And this turned out to be uh, really easy to construct and worked great. And this was something that I know the guys on site are going to just do whatever they want. Um, so I wanted it to look good enough, but I didn't have to worry about it being and then that, that rat slab, that stepping, just goes along and follows that. Uh, let's see, one other bit. Uh, if you notice, my insulation is cut around where all the uh, TGIs would go or where beams would um, because that is uh, all magic of um, uh, building materials. So. Um, these beams are complex profiles rather than objects because I can create their beam map to be a higher priority than the insulation. It's going to cut through. Um, okay, let's stop for today. I hope this was uh, interesting and useful. And uh, thank you very much. <laughs>